Okay. All right, we're live I'm here tonight with my buddy Derek Ricard, former Derek's horror <laughs> stuff. Yes, sir. Is anything new been going on? <laughs> uh yeah, a lot. Um, but a lot of just weird things, you know what I mean? Just random stuff. Uh, just life stuff. Not really uh, anything too crazy with uh, the channel or anything. But uh, aside from changing the name, but um. Yeah, I'm just getting stuff ready. I got a crazy schedule at work lately. Um, I got a cruise coming up. I've never been on a cruise before, so I'm going to be going on a, a cruise with my wife, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm like two weeks uh, or so, so uh, I'm trying to get everything together for that. And it's just been uh, a lot with work and everything, but uh, yeah, nothing nothing too crazy to report. Um, what about you? Anything crazy going on? Huh, life. Uh, my work schedule is pretty crazy, too. I've been doing uh, 24 sevens, you know, cranking yeah. out stuff to get ready for these conventions. You know how much convention is when you're just going and visiting, mm -hmm. when you're going from Missouri to Florida and taking all your stuff and trying to get everything prepared and this and that. It's, it's a little crazy, but uh, yeah, man, yeah. I, uh, some changes in the channel for you, and I, I'm excited to talk about it. And, I think people need to understand you're not leaving horror. You're just adding more. Yeah, that's true. And uh, it's funny they mention that because a lot of people do think that, I think, because uh, a lot of people are asking me about it. But, uh, yeah, man, I uh, still collecting horror stuff. You know, I still uh, still like horror movies. Um, I just I like, I like a bunch of other stuff, too. So uh, I decided, you know, instead of sticking with the one single niche, that uh, I was going to switch it up, and it's kind of funny because when I was going through this, I had uh, several different names uh, planned for like the new channel change, and um, I thought now would be kind of a good time to do it because I don't have like a huge following or anything like that. So uh, you know, I kind of change it to whatever I want. And uh, I had a couple different names though, and they all involved either movies or collectibles or horror. And I kind of got worried because I didn't want to put myself into a position where I was going to get stuck again, feeling like I had to just focus on one thing because just focusing on horror stuff. Well, that's fine. It was just kind of driving me a little bit nuts. And um, like I said, I'm in that video. Like I, you know, I like a bunch of other stuff. Comedy uh, movies are great. I love funny movies, um, but I can't, I don't review them or anything because, you know, a name like Derek's horror stuff just doesn't seem like it would really fit in the niche of the channel. So um, yeah, I just wanted to broaden it out a little bit. And, uh, after coming up with a couple names and creating a couple logos and, and all this different stuff that I actually did to prepare for this, uh, at the very last minute, I just changed my mind and I made it just my name because I figured what the hell, you know, I, I you can't really go wrong with just your name. You no, I, you and I know your, I know how to say your last name. It's one of the first in a while I've been able to say Ricard, right? Ah, you said it wrong. wrong. You said oh, it wrong, goodness. John. Oh my goodness. Rickard. Rickard. See? I'm the butcher. That's my new nickname is the is the butcher. But you know what? That, that's okay. That's a, that's a cool nickname. And uh and it, it sounds cooler when you say my last name like that anyway. So I'll I'll laugh. Yeah, everybody keeps telling me that. Amy Cody. I, I I started off calling her Cote and now she goes by Cote. That sounds cool. That's yeah, cool. Uh, I, I guess uh John John the name the Hollywood name come up, you know, guy, whatever. <laughs> however you yeah. want to say it. but uh last time we sat down um we had a great great time with a uh, with mike levy who just yeah, had man. his baby so congratulations to mike i know he's yeah. a, you got to hang out with him recently didn't you no no i didn't see him no. uh, that recently oh, you, i think you uh, weren't at the at the convention the last convention i was at that he was at i think was chiller um chiller theater but there was the thing about Chiller was I actually planned to go see him. I planned to go to his table because there was a whole Terrifier cast thing going on there. Um, but uh, it was it was so much going on. Like I something happened. I forget what it was, but something fell through where I didn't uh, I didn't have somebody to watch my dog. That's what it was. Uh, <laughs> and so I had to drive down to Chiller Theater because I already had the ticket. So I didn't want to miss it. So I brought my dog with me because I brought uh, I got a hotel that uh, allowed a dog. and. Uh, my plan was to go down after we checked out and just go in the morning to chiller and get everybody done. Um, but I got kind of nervous cause I couldn't leave my dog alone because he gets anxiety and I don't know what he'll do on, uh, unattended in a hotel room. And I you don't know what the cost would be. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, Surprise. Yeah, 
he's a good dog, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to didn't want to freak out and chew the couch up or something. So uh, I ended up having to bring him with me to Chiller, but he was in the car um, and it was a nice day out. And my wife actually like we took turns. So uh, one of us stayed in the car with him. You know, my wife would stay in the car. I'd go in or, or vice versa. And uh, I think at one point we both got out of the car for like 15 minutes and um, I came back to the car and I had a note on my windshield uh, that told me what an asshole I am for leaving my dog in the car all day at a convention. So, uh, you know, I, I, it wasn't, I had to, I had to go pretty quick with this. And uh, I actually did see Mike though, where I'm going with this is I saw Mike in passing. So I'm in a rush to go get all these autographs. Um, and I actually saw Mike on the phone and he was outside, I think away from everybody. And he was in a rush because he had to do like a photo op. So um, the most interaction I had with him was we, we basically just said hello to each other. Uh, but he was he was so wrapped up in something that I didn't want, you know, to bother him. And uh, I like I said, I was in such a time crunch that I didn't really have time yeah. either. So you already had people yelling at your dog and you, you barely left. Yeah. Them, huh? Yeah. So, uh, you, you know, how that goes when a dog lover sees something, even if they don't know the second that you, you leave a dog in the car for two seconds, you're an animal. I know. I was like, I'm, I'm glad nobody smashed my, uh, my freaking window. And I had the windows down, you know, I had them cracked and it was a nice day. Like it wasn't even hot out. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. I, and I get it, you know, I'm a dog guy, so yeah. I wouldn't necessarily want, if, if I thought somebody was in a full day at a convention and leaving their dog in the car, I guess I can understand the frustration. So, um, yeah. But yeah. So it sounded oh, yeah. like it was just, uh, more stressful than anything else. It was a very stressful event, very stressful, and uh, well, it's not not that much fun. <laughs> it was it actually was, a fun well, convention. It just I, I I know you had I don't want to say you had issues at the last convention, but it was kind of one of those things where it was, you know, I don't want to say it was the last straw, but it was kind of your thing of saying, you know, I, I need a little break from conventions. It wasn't my most fun experience. I'm not enjoying them like I used to, at least. That's kind of what I took out of it, and I can definitely understand that. Um, yeah, it, right. Events, even if you're visiting, like I went to Comic Con as uh, over the weekend, and it's it's it can be uh, draining and stressful in its mm -hmm. own way. Yep. But, uh, and they are, so they I, are I very, do get it. They're very stressful. Um, even just going to them to attend them is is stressful. And I remember when I was uh, making the video uh, that I was making that. Uh, I remember I told my wife I was and I didn't get it on the camera or anything, but I remember telling her, um, I was like, yeah, you know, normally we come down here and we jump from celebrity to celebrity or guest to guest or whatever. And uh, we get the autographs and we're we're always beelining it somewhere. So we're always in a hurry to get one place to the next in the most efficient way possible, uh, you know, which is great. But uh, this time I was like, you know, what's nice is we have we have the weekend. Uh, I don't need a whole bunch of names. Let's take our time. Enjoy this convention, like actual just convention goers, instead of going and waiting in line, just one after another, after another and getting out of there. Um, but I remember walking through and how crowded it was on that Saturday um, that I just looked at her and I straight up said, I realized the reason I don't want to just hang out at conventions is because I hate uh, crowds. So I hate yeah. uh, being in this, this tight, quarters with these people you know what i mean so nothing wrong with the people but right it's just how you feel i'm the same out. way uh, that's how uh kansas city uh comic-con was for me i'm here yeah. like, oh let's go on a sunday it should be slower should be this and that mm -hmm. and uh yeah yeah it was just so crowded i had certain thing i wanted to do and then uh, my you know my individuals enjoyed i had to meet garth ennis because i have uh the boys issue one and uh Preacher issue one. He did the, the show, The Preacher. I don't know if you ever watched that one. I, I've seen the, it, but I, I've heard of it. The boys on Amazon and with okay. the autograph and getting it graded. I'll turn around and get rid of it because I'm not really a comic guy anymore. I mean, I kind of was. I liked the show. It was more of an investment to get it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I got that done, but it was just, it was stressful, like you said. I mean, you get these big crowds. I was thinking Sunday it wouldn't be too bad. Usually yeah. Sunday everything's kind of a little more relaxed, mm -hmm. and it was wall to wall. And you know, that's I'm how watching I felt, that's people. Monster Mania, yeah, on Sunday it was it was slammed again. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'll tell you, I like horror conventions way more than a comic con. To tell you the truth, I and I like having my own table. I mean, it's stressful yeah. getting there and setting it up and doing all the stuff. But to be able to, I think I spoke to you when you were doing your last live stream, at least the last one I was able to catch up and 
so busy. It's been hard for me to keep up with everybody's yeah, channels yeah. and this and that. But um, yeah, I mean, that's why I mentioned you should you should look at. I I take a break, and with all the cool stuff you got and the fans you got, I'd I'd look into a small table, get a cheap banner or something that's close, and just go. And you'll yeah. be able to get hey, in there be, early. It could be and it gives yeah, you it that space. A, it gives you that change. space. Mm -hmm. I think you'd be surprised how many people know you. You know, you say you're a small YouTuber, but I, I consider you one of the uh, the top guys in the horror community right now that are, are doing YouTube channels. Now, granted, there's people bigger with bigger numbers, but and, and I, you're more than a, a horror guy. And I like how you're expanding because you're one of those guys where where I can say this, it doesn't really, and I, I saw another comment in your chat because, you know, I, I mean, I'm a big supporter of you and, and I agree with what they said. There's certain people that it doesn't really matter what they talk about, their personality alone and who they are is more what people go to see and hang out and watch. And you're one of those guys where, you know, you even said you, oh, I'm going to start off with the, I don't need any special equipment. I don't need this. Yeah. I don't need that. And, um, you know, you wind up getting it and you, it kind of hits you in the nose before you know it. It's like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm taking this step. And in order to do your channel, you have to do what's best for your channel. And you have to also be able to enjoy everything about your channel. Exactly. And that's, that's, and if you, that's what I said in the beginning. If, if I, you know, if I stop enjoying this, you know, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's not, it's not fun. Like if you're not enjoying it, why the hell am I going to waste my time doing it? You know what I mean? So I hear it's you, not man. worth it. It's it's not I, I, like I'm lucky. I'm enjoy. I'm it. You know how YouTube goes. It has its ups and downs where, you know, especially when you hit like that certain point where you have those rough moments, you get certain situations where it's like, you know, do I really want to do this anymore? Is it even fun? And then I kind of was going to walk away and then I didn't and I stuck with well, it. And now I'm having a lot I of fun with it again. I remember that you were saying you were going to step away. And, um, but now I, I haven't, I, again, I haven't been able to keep, same as you said, I haven't really been able to keep up with everybody's streams because uh, of how crazy it's been with work. But, um, dude, I, it looks like you're doing, at least from what I can tell, you're doing like a stream a night here. Like you're, <laughs> you're talking with everybody. Well, you know what it is, is I, I work so much too. And, uh, you know, my days off, I, I'm really like a introvert type person, but when I'm mm -hmm. at work, it, at the end of the night after I'm dealing with what I'm yeah. doing, I enjoy the live streams and I enjoy talking to different people. Cause I don't, I used to be the type of guy who had to go out every weekend to the bar, you know, just kind of party kind of guy. And yeah. the last eight years I haven't had a weekend. I don't do weekends. So like the conventions and putting on tables, going to see families, kind of like my adult version of, of doing something. So yeah. the live streams have kind of like, I didn't have any plan this week. And then I talked to, uh, Steven Flug, who's who's uh, horror freak eighty five, and he's yeah, like, saw, "Yeah, I'll I come on tonight. Play. Why not do that?" And then I had um, uh, Kyle uh, Rappaport uh, on last night. Yeah, I, I'm, I hope I'm saying his name right, Michael Rappaport. <laughs> yeah, I'm Michael Kyle Rappaport. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, he was great, and I didn't plan on it. And then you're like, I, I figured when I asked you, you'd be because I know how busy you are. I, I yeah. like I got the open schedule. And then it worked out. You're like, oh, I'll be Thursday. So this week, I wasn't even going to do anything. I was going to get ready for the convention, hit the road. Yeah. And then before I knew it, I had three streams lined up. But I've been looking forward to each one. It's like, oh, it's sitting down with Stephen Fluke. Hey, yeah, definitely sit down with Horror Freak. Yeah. And then uh, Kyle was just a blast. That dude's a load of energy. And I really enjoyed <laughs> talking to him last night. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I, don't was... think, I, I think I might have seen part of that. But I don't think I saw the whole stream. So... I'd have to go check that one out again, but. And then also being a fan of your channel and what you're doing and all the changes. And we had a great fun stream with, like we talked about earlier with Michael Levy. It's like, you know, I mean, I, let's see what's going on. Cause I know there's been a lot of changes and I heard about the cruise and, and uh, yeah. what's your direction with the uh, channel? Like, I, I know you're into a lot of different stuff, but is what's your first real getaway or topic you really want to talk about? Is there like a planned I've, video? I have no idea. I have no idea, man. Um, it, you know what? It's actually like weird because I wanted to branch out uh, so I didn't have to stick just to horror, which is great. Um, but now the problem is that I have so many things that I can do that I don't know what to do. I have like 20,000 topics in my head for all these different videos, movie reviews, 
and this and that. Um, and I've even I filmed a few so far. I just uh, haven't decided what is going to be the next step. I actually have a couple unboxing videos that I still have to do, and they're all going to be horror related because uh, I just haven't opened a couple things yet that I'm have sitting around me here. Um, but yeah, so I mean, there's still going to be a bunch of horror stuff. But, you know, like I said, if I had to say, um, you know, I do want to start reviewing movies a little bit more. So, you know, maybe go in that direction again, some more horror movies. But also, you know, funny movies, sad movies, uh, suspense, different things, because I, I like to watch all that different stuff. Um, still conventions. I still do want to go to those. It's just like I said, you know, I'm taking a little break, taking a little breather. I went pretty hard the last uh, since they opened back up. Basically, I've been going really hard with them. And uh, some of them I didn't even I didn't even get on camera. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of money and it's a lot to it's a lot of stress. Um, and something else that I noticed, like I said in that video, is uh Having this new equipment, having this new camera and stuff is really chill. But the problem with that is that people don't there's something about this lens that's in front of me right now. And uh, there's something different than just having a phone on the screen. You know what I mean? So when I go to these guests, it's I don't know, it's different to hold your phone like this and just record them than it is to shove this lens in their face. And yeah. uh, you know what I mean? I think it's more it's it makes them uneasy. It makes him um, uncomfortable. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. like, what is this guy doing? Is he like uh, with the Inquirer or something along yeah, those right? lines? Is, right. And is, I thought it'd be cool because I thought it, I thought it would look legit, you know. But I think the problem is it looks it does look legit. Yeah, uh, you so don't I, look I like a fan. You look better. like a guy. Maybe they think it's going out and trying to make money off of something exactly. or whatever. Yeah, I I I totally understand that, man. So I, 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 think I totally when I understand. Go back, I, I think I might just might might just do the old phone approach again. And uh, leave yeah. the camera for for some other stuff because these phones have a good camera, you know, and uh, perfectly perfectly fine. But I was watching the the one uh, Jamie Kennedy video recently. I don't know if you ever watch his stuff, but he did. A, oh, I do. I love his YouTube channel. Yep, he did that convention video, uh, and he, you know, it showed it was cool because it showed from the other side of the convention table. You know, it showed the, yeah. the guests, the, the the people coming up to the guests. Um, but I was watching that video and when I watched it, I realized how many people would walk up and they just had their phone like this and nobody says a damn thing versus yeah. my camera being out. So that's what I'm going to try. That's the problem I have. Like even at conventions I've went to, whether I'm behind the, the table or, or outside like this one, I'm not a guy who likes to hold the camera around and record things. Like I almost feel uncomfortable walking through places like that. And even with Garth, Garth Ennis, when I had him sign that stuff, it was like really the one person. Like Ralph Macchio was there. I wanted to meet him, but I was dealing with something else. It was uh, me and other staff and, and a few of our individuals. It's, I guess uh, Ralph Macchio's people and, and my coworker didn't even know who Ralph Macchio really was. You know, took one of my guys, gave him like VIP front row. I would have loved to meet him, but also yeah. it's kind of draining for me. Like, he, I would have loved to met him, but to go through the line again was like, yeah, oh, yeah, I bet. And and I even forgot to take pictures of Garth Ennis signing this stuff. Luckily, I got it certified. I get you know, overwhelmed. I, I hear you, man. I I'm the same way with that. That's and uh, that's a funny thing that a lot of people wouldn't recognize as somebody who has a YouTube channel. You know, just like you, um, it's not always the first thought to like pull out a camera. You know what I mean? It's actually it's very weird for me. It feels very strange. Um, so that's why I, I actually enjoy my, it. You, you miss so much. Fun. Mm -hmm. You miss so much. Like even when I have tables and, and a lot of times, like the last convention, I had two tables. It just happened. That I had two different spots and you know, my folks that were great and they tried to run it, but they didn't really know what they're, they learned as they went. They learned a lot. I'll give them a lot of credit, but it was really hard to pull out the camera and record things. Like I got mm -hmm. some of when they signed with the 78 cast signed some of my stuff. I got some with James Duke Courtney, but overall I barely was able to take any photos of my, my table because you get so which is a good thing i was busy but yeah but you get so the last thing i want to yeah. do is pull out my you know i look back mm -hmm. at some of these conventions i've been to and it's like i don't even have that many photos or videos really mm -hmm. and i was there for three days for you know yeah this, well this there's, i hear you there's some i went to i have nothing you know it's like you yeah. wouldn't even know i was there <laughs> it's tough i i, I not a cameraman kind of deal like me neither, I, I man me neither believe it or not yeah and uh even at these conventions another reason and i've said this before one of the reasons i like to go with my wife um is my wife's not a giant horror fan and um she doesn't really know who a lot of these people are and that's actually fine and it ends up working out perfect because uh 
she, you know, she's the one holding the camera usually. So she remembers to film things. She doesn't get starstruck, you know, so she can just record it uh, while I'm living it up. But uh, the problem is when I try to do it myself, because there's several times, like, for example, um, who'd I get? I got uh, PJ Souls at the yeah. one. And I remember because uh, I originally got her autograph on uh, Devil's Rejects poster. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I forgot. I need her on my Halloween poster. So I'm in a different line with my wife. And I'm like, man, I forgot to get PJ Souls on this other poster. She has no line right now. We're in line for this guy. I'm just she and my wife's like, you know, I'll wait in this line. You go back to PJ Souls. You go get that autograph. Cool. So I go back and my wife tells me, I'm like, all right, but I'm, I'm worried because I always forget to take pictures of these celebrities when they're signing. Like I, I want to have a picture and I always forget to take a picture. I'm so bad at I it. I did the same thing with Garth and, Ennis. Yep. And she goes, uh, she goes here, pull out your phone right now. So I pull out my phone. She goes, go to the camera. I go to the camera. I have it pulled up. She's like, all you have to do is hit this button right here when you go to it. I said, okay, I got this. I got this. I have the phone in my hand the whole time. And I say, hey, PJ Souls, here's my poster. Can you sign it? Yeah, she signs my poster. I walk back to my wife. She goes, did you get the picture? I said, damn, I forgot. Because I forget every time. I Same thing, you know, I had that well, with uh, Dr. Mean, Satan, Chucky, like all kinds of people. I feel so douchey with a phone in my hand taking a video. When I'm, I mean, even like with James Jude Courtney, I was getting along with them great. And I can't explain how douchey I felt with a camera in my hand. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing them this time. Because we, we got along great. Off, like, most of the stuff the camera was off, like, I had to redo things because... I'm yeah. bad with the camera. It's like, holy shit, I didn't even get record you doing this. So it's hard. I, I get it. I get it. And and I'm just that kind of way where I don't like to have the camera in front of my face. Some people mm -hmm. are comfortable with it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's even weird. It. Which, yeah. But I feel like such a tool when I'm just pointing my camera at somebody. It's I just an too. awkward feeling. So I, I've, I've gotten I've gotten a little more confident, I guess you would say, with that. I, you know, because with my mindset, I, I do feel like that, but I also kind of feel like, Hey, we're at a convention. This is the one yeah, time where it. I can do this. You know, I mean, everybody has their cameras out, everybody snapping pics. So it's not that weird, but I know exactly what you mean because it just, I need to get a wife like too. yours who's, who's comfortable just doing all the camera work. Uh, I told my dad's big in the camera. So yeah, we were so busy between two tables. So this time I got one twenty by 20. Um, I got a little more help coming than last time. When you're doing tables and you're really ultimately doing it by yourself for the setting up and, and all this stuff, by the time you get to it, I, I was still setting up most of Friday because I was doing two tables uh, setting up and I'd have to stop because once the people started rolling in, I'd get called to the say. one table, get called yep. to the other table. Like I missed James Jude Courtney a bunch of times. He he wound up Every time he'd come looking for me, I was at the other table or I'd come. Like, it, so it was weird. And when we, I finally got to hang out with them, I don't know. I need some, I, this time I got more help. My sister, my niece is going to be there. You know, my parents are getting older and not so mm -hmm. much my dad. My dad's fine, but he's helping my mom out a lot. Who's not, you know, as physically well as she used to be. So I got it and it, it just was a, a long weekend. It was a lot of fun, but yeah. to get the camera well, on her. top was just, a, you know, mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. It's just a lot. And, and luckily, and I could say, you know, my tables have been busy enough where people come over and talk, and, and I enjoy just interacting. And the last thing I want to do is is have yeah. a camera shot. Like I, I uploaded one of uh, this guy who got the H three lamp, which was a lot of fun because he was so excited. I'm mean, like, stop oh, talking that, for yeah. a second. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes the moments, dude. When you go and you do those tables and you have something that this person is like so excited about. Like that's still one of my favorite stories. I was glad I I recorded it and had it and. And recently yeah. uploaded it. It reminded me how much I love the conventions. Yeah, the celebrities are great, but and that that goes to show that you know you sometimes meet. sometimes filming does, is nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, exactly. That, that cool memory, you know. Well, so you, it well, is, you know. I freak, I'm like you though too. It's not even so much I feel awkward doing it, but it, it you, I forget to like you, and you get so it's caught not, in the moment. Yeah, uh, dude, and it's some, I've said this before to my wife specifically, and some other people, but like. I don't, with YouTube and stuff like that, it's one of those things where, you know, I, I, at this age and I'm not even that old, but at this age, I can't keep up with it anymore. Like I would have been able to when I was younger, because when I was younger, I, you know, I didn't have the cell phone. I had a, you know, one of the, the cameras, the handheld ones, but uh, either way I was, I was filming a lot and I didn't mind filming everywhere I went, but 
these days it's yeah it's just not uh my first go-to like uh i was thinking about the other day if you get into a confrontation you know what i mean like a lot of people will walk up and they'll just shove a phone in your face with a yeah. camera on but that's not my go-to if i'm in a confrontation i'm gonna put my phone away because i don't want it to get smacked out of my head or, or yeah I don't, and I don't, i'm gonna go deal with it without a camera you know what i mean right, plus, right. you might not want a camera there so yeah document your own your own exactly and that's all people do these days so it's 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 natural to some people but i guess to people like us it's not as natural <laughs> how about this will um how about we say hi to everybody in the chat i see quite a few people here and they're excited to see you um supine all oh the God. way from the philippines one of my favorite people and streamers she loves to do her singing she's awesome uh, we got Hello. halloween fiend pdx here old the other derek the other oh, this derek. guy yeah this guy he's awesome dead guy this guy okay. he's he's great okay. um we got shangy here i know we have camp crystal cabin six i don't know if you've seen his work he joins me at conventions he's been at every single one i've been to the last convention he had had to deal with some family stuff so he wasn't able to stay too long but Wait, he does amazing it? jason hawks his name's camp crystal cabin six he's oh, actually did I'm the active. um yeah he um he actually did the hawks for uh for, uh never hike alone too he's uh he's okay. in the campaign yeah yeah he makes some amazing hawks uh shangy my good friend shangy here she's always supporting and very sweet another lady from the philippines uh, i'm lucky those these philippine ladies are so nice and, and kind and they're so supportive so i appreciate that uh, we got chaos what i think up, that's chaos? little chaos yeah chaos there's big chaos i think it's a father and son so yeah, i think that's the son and then we got Miss Cote. We were talking about her tonight. The other one I like to butcher her name on, but oh, she, yeah. she liked the way it's pronounced. Yeah, Miss Cote. Amy Cody, who's actually going to be in a, a movie with the flashback leather face, Brett Wagner, uh, Joshua Adams' film uh, called The Grind. It's going to be a Texas Chainsaw Massacre and also with uh, Angel Bradford. So I don't know how much of the indie Very you cool. follow, but that's amazing. Chaos uh, saying, um, he enjoyed the stream last night, but I just want to stop and say hi and what's up. Uh, hey, Derek, we, we're a coincidence, man. Laugh out loud so weird. I don't, maybe because you have the same name, I'm not sure, because I'm going backwards in the chat. I probably should have started from the top. We got Amy Cody. <laughs> here's Camp Crystal Cabin 6. Oh, here's what he was probably talking about. Hey, Derek, I'm wearing a ghost face oh. shirt, too, smoking a vape and a twisted tee. So that's why I say to you guys is so <laughs> All right, that makes That makes a lot more sense. Uh, uh, Kyle Curtis Flett, Flett Lives, awesome YouTube channel also. Uh, check what him up, out. Yeah, uh, he just had a great interview tonight, and I enjoyed watching it. Mira, who is Sabuana Vlogs, or now Sabuana in Florida. She just moved here from the Philippines to Florida. I'm hoping she can make it to a convention. You got a big Office Philippines of fan base. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling <laughs> you huge in the philippines i am i don't and they're so loyal i i i love them to death they're, hey, they're all wrong with that. Wonder, they're all wonderful and, and they're awesome. probably the best supporters you can have anytime i'm streaming i know they're gonna be there and, hey i can't think of we got officer salvador onafray hello who was, officer yeah texas texas officer who just kicked the crap out of cancer i'll keep it pg and, okay. and I'm real proud of him. He's actually sending me some Leatherface stuff for the convention in Florida. Nice. So I'm excited to see that. He's uh, He's been tampering with doing all this stuff and, and making masks. He's done some uh, Michael Myers recently. And it's like, man, he's got some skills. He didn't even have to tase the mask or nothing. He <laughs> just uh, took care of it. But oh, he's an uh, amazing, uh, awesome dude, good friend of mine. Told him when I get to Texas, I'll be doing donuts around his patrol car with my finger out the window. So I have, I have all yeah. my bongs put away, right? All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Office Sal doesn't care. He turns a blind eye. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, we uh, Supine saying yes, huge Filipino community. Uh, there really is probably the most loyal and supportive and sweet people you ever meet. So I am very grateful for. My Filipino friends, the Filipino ladies that come and hang out. All so lovely, too. So, yeah. So, I think we said hi to everybody so far. That's that's at least said hi. So, 
So I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, so Derek, uh, what's what was I going to ask? So what's your cruise? Where are you cruising out to? Oh, I'm going to um, where am I going? Bermuda. I'm going to Bermuda. Bermuda. Yeah, never been. Uh, the reason I had to think about that is I was supposed to go to the Bahamas, but that was like right before COVID. It was a whole different cruise. Uh -huh. And we had it all booked and we were like, this is it. This is it. This is the first time we're going on a cruise. This is awesome. We got all excited. And then I've been to down. the Bahamas. I've been to Jamaica, but I have never been to Bermuda. But Nassau, the Bahamas was really, really nice. I, uh, yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I actually won a trip. I was that good of a salesman in a pyramid scheme company. I was, <laughs> I was like the top guy in Florida in a pyramid scheme. And they had to send me on this trip. <laughs> it was crazy yeah yeah that was actually an interesting story yeah i i was like damn <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then from like awesome. my first two months i was like the top 10 salesman in florida they had no no choice but the and you know how much i made hmm. not much <laughs> but i sold a lot of shit <laughs> well yeah yeah you sold a lot i got a trip to the to the bombers that was a lot of fun can't beat that oh, man yeah you can't beat that uh, I forget his name was Fred in the conch boat. He'd make the conch salad right in there. It was spicy, but it was good as hell, man. I, <laughs> I really uh, enjoyed that. And I've been to Jamaica. I really liked uh, Montego Bay. I was there. Actually, my son, uh, uh, Devante Devo, he's, he's in my chats a lot. I've had him on streams with me. He, him and his mom were living there at the time because that's where they're from. And, uh, yeah, I had a great time in Montego Bay. They have one – you. Here's here's a non horror thing. Uh, you know the Jamaican bobsled team. What was that movie with John Candy? Uh, cool uh, Runnings. Yeah, Cool Runnings. Yeah. They have a bar called Cool Runnings where they just play Cool Runnings on a loop. And I spent That's a lot of time. I can believe there. that. Yeah. I can believe that. Yeah, yeah. It's like their big pride and joys. And that was <laughs> the name cool of the running. the place, Cool Runnings. And you go there, and yeah, they just have Cool Runnings on a loop. But it was <laughs> a lot of fun. And I'll tell you, I never like I. I've never had stronger rum in my life. I've never, I mean, the alcohol there is, is brutal. Like, oh, take a sip of this. I took a tiny sip of this rum, and I'm not even joking. And I had a buzz from it. That's how bad, that's how strong it was. I, you ever seen those things where somebody takes a shot and they're like that? Yeah, well, I took a sip, and this stuff was like, well, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> It was like a rum rum runner with the 151 rum, but I swear I had more than 151 in that. Hey, man, that's was... nothing wrong with that, you know, because you're going to save some money in the long run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Less drinks. Oh, man. I, I couldn't even drink it. It was that strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, here's the lost leather face himself, Brett Wagner. What's going on, buddy? Hello. He's in uh, the new movie Grind with Amy Cody. Amy Cote and uh, Angel Bradford and Joshua Adams. That's he's Joshua Adams is uh, directing, wrote it, and starring as Leatherface. And I'm interested to see that. I That's actually awesome. plan on having the whole cast there. I spoke to Joshua about it. He said he'd like to come on and talk about it. So to get Brett back on, he's a good buddy. I've talked to him now. He's he's a good friend of my 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 artist, my the Doomsday Script artist, Michael Toth, uh, introduced me to him, and he came on it. Uh, Amy Cote, who had gone as co-host with me a few times and had to meet Brett Wagner, did. And now they're starting a film together. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, That's really cool. One of, the, one of the things I wanted to talk about, I'm guessing, yes, I, as Facebook user, I'm guessing actually Michael Toth. I haven't been able to look at, at it, but I'm guessing. Is that you, Michael? Say yes if it is. But uh, Derek's quite the artist himself. I... I I can't believe you do more artwork. You got anything handy? You can show some people what you do. Because you're uh, you're a fantastic artist. I don't think you, you. Oh, it's not it's not uh, Michael Toth. Let me see what it is. It could be Vinny, Vinny Boombots. I don't know. Let me see who it is. I don't have. Um, I don't really have much around me right now. But yeah, I do. Uh, well, I don't. I don't draw as much as I used to now. But uh, but yeah, I do have a lot of. Well, you did a stream where coming. you were drawing, man. And I'll tell you, you do yeah. some really, really cool art. I'd love to own a piece by you at some point. Yeah. Awesome, I, think man. yeah, I, yeah. I think it's real cool. It's I was doing I used to do commissioned uh oh, it's, work. It's but. it's Michael Toast's mom. Uh Antonia <laughs> France. I didn't realize it was his mom because she's she's been That's such a loyal TV. supporter. And um, yeah, watching on TV. Mike's watch not TV, we're on the big screen and Here's uh, Camp Crystal Cabin 6. 
Let me go back to StreamYard. Uh, John, we uh, we are going to need those. Get those VIP. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just gonna grab them, man. I'm gonna grab them Friday. I was hoping to wait until I got there. The VIP tickets for uh, for Spookala, but they're getting low on them, and it's one of those things where I don't get to go. They're two hundred bucks for the, the VIP tickets, but I'm I'm getting it. I gotta get them. Uh, welcome. Yes, Antonia is a proud mom. Her her son Michael Toth, who did the Doomsday script uh, art that you see oh, like for the yeah. new logo and stuff. Yep. Yes, that's Michael Toth. And um, uh, you're you're great. Oh, uh, I appreciate that, Antonia. That's that's really kind. Mike Michael was saying that you really enjoy the show, and and that's an honor. It's 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 a weird feeling, Derek, because I've been doing this a short time that people are really enjoying what I'm doing without yeah annoying the hell out of them i, I mean it's, it kind of blows my mind because it's weird just it's, a, it, it yeah. feels weird it's not weird yeah. but it feels weird <laughs> it's surreal it's like yeah oh, yeah you know i mean even like with uh kyle rapaport who came on last night it was he was ex excited you know he was talking to me giving me phone calls he even called me today and uh was asking about something technical and it's like i don't know I'm not very good because he was trying to find the chat on the replay of YouTube, like the live chat. And I've noticed that too. Sometimes it'll show up for a while and then sometimes it just disappears. I don't know if there's a, a time yeah. frame on that, but I do not know. Yeah. yeah, we need the after party for sure, Mike. I'm going to be bringing a lot of monster energy drinks to get through the day. Because I know at the end of the day, the thing I'm worried about get with getting VIP tickets is the day, you know how a uh, event is to, party after even just as a walking through the place you're drained it's it's tiring man it's exhausting and these gray hairs are for show <laughs> <laughs> it's years and uh but yeah yeah we'll do that after party but um yeah man i i, I dig the art um you do some amazing like real a lot of realism to it and uh, oh yeah, i think yeah. you should i think you should do more of that with Derek ricard channel I mean, I could, you know, it, so like I was saying, so I did, I used to do like commissioned work for a while. So I, you know, people paid me to do drawings for them, which was cool. Um, and I did a lot of uh, portraits, like memorial ones for, you know, lost loved ones and stuff like that. Cause you know, people like to have that and, uh, and all kinds of different things. But uh, the thing is very, very time consuming. Uh, people don't realize it, but it, people think it takes like an hour to do these things. It takes, you know, 15, 16, 20 hours, maybe more um so it's very very time consuming and uh, i just haven't had the time and i you know I, I actually did my last commission a while back because uh after that i was like guys I, I can't do it anymore the the price i would have to charge you for this to be worth my time at this point is, is too much like i wouldn't feel it? comfortable yeah i wouldn't feel comfortable charging you that amount um and i i don't like to go crazy with those kind of prices you know so uh, but yeah, so I, I took a break, but now if I do something, it's just going to be stuff that I actually just want to do. And I actually do have, uh, um, actually, you know what? I might have one over here. Give me one second. I have one that I was working on. That's actually a horror one that a lot of people might actually enjoy. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can find sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. I'll answer some of the camp crystal crab. Yeah. We, we need the after party. I, I'm there. I'm, you know, I was hoping to get there first just in case I run into any road troubles because it can get expensive. But yeah, I'm just gonna wind up getting the tickets. You know, I got the banner and the shirts done today. That I'm just so glad that's out of the way. I got to get you the stuff so we can put the loops together for the trailers. I've been meaning to get it to you, but I'm hoping this weekend we'll unpack. And I don't know if you can wait until I get to Florida, which will be like Thursday or Friday. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if JJC will go. He likes to have a drink, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'd love to, to to see JJC and hang out with them again, but I don't expect it. You know, every show is different. You know, he might be busy. Yeah, you want to get Corey as Hawk. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely want to go. Um, yeah, the Tom and Tom. Yeah, Tom Morgan and Tom Matthews. That'd be really cool. Um, oh, I appreciate that, Antonia. Uh, Michael Toth watching uh, TV can't comment. Good. I don't need your comments, Mike. I know you have something smart ass to say. I'm just kidding. Mike, Mike's awesome. You got to hear me stressed out today and help walk me through some things. And uh, 
my banner is filled with his art, so it's a really, really cool banner. I put it together. It's as cool as I can make a banner, but I spent about six hours. It probably should take me ten minutes to do, but so I roll. Hello, Chris Kelly. How are you? Another one of my favorite Filipinos. I, I think we're we're I, the best fans out there. The All right, no, I don't have it. Best. I, can't, I can't find it. You, you can't find it. Huh? I, I, I can't. I, find I, it. I lose I more than I can. I can find <laughs> lately. I swear. And most of it's I can't find my brain anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing that. I'll I'll meet you right at the center. I'll get a bag to the place when we get home. Same as before. Yeah, the the um the cottage that we got is is really nice, Mike. Uh, my mother sent me some pictures of it. And, uh, it's really really nice, and it's not that far away. Um, but are you? I'll, I'll be there Thursday, Pat. Trying to get set up before the event. Hopefully get most. I've gotten better at setting up and breaking down because I've done it a few times. Where the first time was a nightmare, a total nightmare. Like I had to get overwhelmed. Now I just I know exactly where it's gonna go. But uh, yeah, that's it. I think that shirt. Where's that shirt from, Derek? The shirt. Uh, this is from uh Spencer's. I think. Uh, I, think I got this from Spencer's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spencer's had a lot of cool uh, scream stuff right now. I haven't been to Spencer's in a long time. We don't have many malls around here. Malls are, are tough to find. You're dying. Yeah. You're dying, like that. Uh, thing. I mean, like, I'm surprised Walmart's had some decent horror shirts and they're cheap. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn. But yeah. I, I've gotten a few things from Fright Rags, too. I really like their stuff. But Yeah, Fright Rags, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they're pretty cool. I've, I've, I've got a few things I really enjoyed by them. And, oh. Let me see what I can't get. Impressive Devil Rejects, Paul. Yeah, yeah. You, you, he, Derek's a big Devil's Rejects uh, fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a got a lot of it. I tried to narrow in on one thing, and it kind of ended up being Devil's Rejects. <laughs> Derek's Derek's got a hell of a collection. He's got what ten pops. Ten at Funkos. least at least at least eleven. <laughs> well, eleven. That's pushing it. <laughs> I've noticed, like I, 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 like I like more handmade stuff, whether it's like masks and whatnot. But I've been starting to get the collectibles because there's more value in it, and I'm not really getting it to keep it. Like I got some a cool scream thing. I got the uh, what is it, the ten inch Michael Myers bobble, the Funko Pop. That was my first really oh, Funko yeah. Pop that I bought. But it had the blood tears, and I saw that's kind of rare with the the blood yeah. tears on it, so I yeah. grabbed it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've gotten a few things lately, but it, those are things that I could let go and I won't miss. But there's certain things that I own in my collection that I, I'd i have trouble, like my Michael Myers animatronic. I don't think I could ever sell it. I, I don't mm -hmm. think I could ever do it. There's really not a price or the bust I've had just because there's so many memories now on top with it, with all the, yeah, the exactly. signings, Nick Castle, James Jude Courtney. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's certain things. There's certain. I think any collector will agree with that. There's there's certain things you you know they just hold too much sentimental uh, value. You know. Yeah, I was looking at my stuff and it was funny. I was on uh, with the SFX artist. Uh, she's doing um, special effects for uh, the Voorhees Night of the Beast by Jason Pitts, which is it looks really really interesting. I can't wait. And we were talking. I'm like, yeah, well, I could sell. I can't sell that one because that I can't sell that mask yeah. because. And it's yep. tough because a lot of them, I mean, they, they become part. It's like, wow, I could never sell that because this reason. It's bad. It's a hoarder mentality. It kind of is. Sense. Yeah. Once you, yeah, it's so hard to let things go. Like I had a Halloween uh, Curse of Michael Myers mask that I wish I didn't sell. But a person just kept raising the price and raising the price and raising the price and raising the price. And I made a nice a nice profit on that mask, especially since I didn't even spend much on it. Yeah. And I still regret selling it. I regret it. Oh yeah. There, well, I got, I, yeah, I got things like that too. There's, there's always going to be that stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, it's just stuff, you know, it is, it is, it is. Um, I'm planning on letting some go. Cause dude, I'm just running out of room. Yeah. I, I really that. am. And, and I want to, if doing convention tables, like I want to be able to go and say, there's a terrifier, 
heavy cast that's going to be there. I want a Terrifier table. I want a Leatherface table. I want a Mike Myers table. So there's certain things I got to keep to keep it like that. But yeah. there's ones I just got to let go, even if I don't want to. Yeah. Just because, and I'm with you. You know, I got to update. I got to get things. Yep. Can't keep putting the same thing on the table. Like I want something new at each one. Like yeah, uh, rotate. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, and I also want some new, fresh stuff each time. Uh, you know, the guy who did the Michael Myers, the Myers house. I don't know. You, with the big bust on it, has the Mulpagano thirteen mask. It's like my oh, biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. He made me a a Ko Kala from Texas Chainsaw Massacre two radio station. And Bob okay. Elmo was supposed to be there, and he canceled that Spookala. But it's an awesome radio station. That's going to be uh, – I think is spot on to the movie, even with the tires, like the junk tires in it and stuff. So, I have, do, you have, do you have that anywhere? Do you have that, like, I don't. It'll be in oh, Florida. Okay. It's, he's still That's getting shipped. I do have pictures, so I'll send you oh. some pictures of it. And that I got some – That sounds cool. Yeah, I got some really cool – since you're an artist, I got some really kick-ass art coming for it. Uh, Michael Toth has killed it with the art. Um, also, uh, I got keychains coming and stuff and these little like mini VHSs by Thomas Bruce. Um, I got a couple, I got a Straka DK exclusive that he did, Scott Straka, which is really cool. And a few prints yeah. by him. Yeah. yeah that's cool. So this, yeah, there's some really cool stuff coming, man. I'm looking forward to showing it off because I haven't even had my hands on it. Daniel, Daniel Cruz made me Halloween four and I haven't had a Halloween four mask yet. So. Yeah, some cool stuff, man. Some cool stuff. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So what's your next thing? Are you going to slow down on your collecting of horror? Or is that something that you, especially uh, now that with the changes? Well, I mean, you know, again, you know, with the changes, it's it's just because I want to do more stuff. But my collection is still the same, you know. Um, but the thing I have been thinking about lately is, is, like, one of the reasons I think I collect is when I was growing up, I really didn't have anything. Like, there was a time where I had nothing, and I just, I just, nothing but the clothes on my back, you know, like uh, one of those situations. And uh, I don't know if it's because of that that I like to get all this stuff now that I can, you know what I mean? And I, I look around it, and it's really cool. But, you know, like I said before, at the end of the day, it's all stuff. So, right now, um, I'm trying to, I'm still buying stuff. I'm just trying not to buy as much expensive stuff. Uh, so I can try to budget for some other things that, you know, are a little bit more of a priority in life at the moment. But uh, but no, yeah, I'm, I'm slowing down for the moment, but I, I'll definitely be buying more. I was looking into some some bigger things, though, uh, that I don't know if I'm going to be doing them or not. But I was trying to decide if I want to get maybe some bigger pieces for my collection, maybe sell off some of the smaller stuff and make room for bigger statues or things like that, because they could be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I. I've kind of was to say I'm kind of in the same boat where I enjoy the masks and stuff, but I enjoy the like a big piece. Uh, yeah. yeah, like a, a full size piece where it's spot on. Like I really want to take it to that next step of, you know, not just masks, but just a, like an event with everything that goes on, like the Ko Kala thing, like the Myers House. Yeah, like a I want a life size uh, Freddy, uh, Hellraiser, you know, Pinhead. Uh, That'd be cool. Life size, uh, Jason. Like, I just want all those things that take up room when I go. Like I said, have a theme for each one, a life size art, the clown, and then have trying, the smaller pieces. Are you trying to do like animatronics or are you trying to do just like, yeah, like, yeah. Well, it, de it depends. Like, um, I've talked to Vinny a lot about it. Vinny Cucurato, who does a lot of those kind of things. And he, he'd like to start doing some more animatronics too. So, yeah, there's actually a plan for an animatronic at Phantasm. Since I'm bringing Beatrice Bupley, and uh, I think we're going to try to do, uh, I'll spoil it now since everybody's, and for anybody who's here, we're going to try to do a life-size animatronic of Freddy Krueger. So that's going to be B1. We got some plans yeah, awesome. for that. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll be really cool. You know, I I love those animatronics. Like the, and He's one of those guys who's real detail-oriented, oriented, so yeah. But I yeah. feel you on the bigger pieces. Those little pieces are... Uh, they're hard to keep the dust off after a while. How much dust do you have <laughs> to do? True. That's true, man. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's just one of those things. When I started out, I got a couple pops, then I got a couple NECA figures, then I got a couple of these and a couple of those. But, uh, but yeah, now I'm, I feel like uh, I get a little bit more serious about it if I 
if I keep going, you know. But then then you get serious and you get serious money. So that's that's where it gets a little bit different. So I was just see. talking about Daniel Cruz. He's here. He's the one who made the H4 mask I was talking about that I haven't had. Oh, very cool. I can't wait to see it. It just arrived at my house the other day. And I I really like what he did with it. So I'm looking at putting it on a bus coming to I, – I wish I had – I had more time to plan for Spookala to put on a bus because I really like the bus, like with a mask. Because I, my head's so weird. Masks just, especially Myers, don't fit my head very well, especially the newer ones where I'm going to uh, Crypticon in Minneapolis. And I know like Danny Harris is going to be there. So I'm going to need that H4 to have a bust on it for sure. For sure. Because H4 is not my favorite mask, but what he did is pretty fucking cool. So I'm looking forward to unboxing that. And then uh, this one has a collection of Daniel Cruz stuff. And uh, he's you got a great collection going there, Tim. Tim and Amanda Kenny. Uh, I call him Madman I because it's just how it looks to me when I see that name, Tim and Amanda. But, um, yeah, man, uh, so much stuff for you. The cruise, when do you go on your cruise? Uh, next. Uh, about two weeks from now roughly um oh, so yeah so it's getting it's getting near i got the bathing suit ordered and i got the the tommy bahama shirts coming in so uh i'm getting ready going into speedos for the ladies oh you know it <laughs> got the banana hammock speedo torpedo yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's uh, I, i've never been on a cruise I've, I've talked about going on it for so many times uh just never happened. I went on a booze cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that was yeah. when I went to the Bahamas. Oh, I went well, on a booze cruise. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, they know how to party out there. So, And it was good because I didn't get a – we were out there for about six hours. That was about all the drinking I needed. I was ready to get off. But, uh, yeah, man, that should be a blast for you. And all the stuff that's coming out for you um, – I'm excited for you with the changes. I, I mean, I could see some really cool reviews. Uh, are you gonna review comedy like uh, Tommy Boy would be one? I'd love to see you review. You said you love comedy and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, man, uh, I love I, comedy. You know, because that's the your thing is I, I collect horror stuff, I like horror stuff. But uh, you know, comedy is probably my favorite genre of uh, of movies. So I've I've seen a lot, a lot of uh, funny movies because I just I like a good laugh. So. Uh, yeah, there's 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 probably a lot of them in the in the future. Retro movies like uh, Dumb and Dumber, back in the day, Naked Guns, those are great. Even go back to Caddyshack, man. You could do like a whole series on comedy, classic comedy. And I don't know how you are with the ranking system. I I stink with like rating the top ten because it can switch any time, and it's like oh, but yeah. it's so hard to say this is my favorite of all time because oh, there's yeah. so many movies that. But top 10 of any order would be really cool comedies to hear by, uh, you know, something different that, yeah. you know, yeah, it'd you show people like, like the genre. type of, yeah, it'd show people what kind of comedy you think, would think is funny. Um, another great movie would be like uh, Josh Shank Redemption. It's one of my favorite movies uh, of yeah, all that's time. Movie. That's, that's one. Oh, I classic. can see where branching out and talking about those things would be a lot of fun. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the changes. I really am looking forward to the changes. I know a lot of people were shocked, and I think some people I saw were upset. It's like, you know, why are you upset? It's not like he's giving up horror. Yeah. And I think that was I'll, one of the reasons I wanted to bring you up. I mean, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, most of the people, almost all the people have been very supportive, you know. And again, it's not, I don't think it's that huge of a deal. It's just a different name on the channel, you know. But uh, and because I'm still doing the same stuff, I'm just, I'm just going to do more of it. Uh, so, you know, if there's something you don't want to see, then that, that is what it is. But, uh, yeah, most people have been cool about it. Um, you know, like I said, just to say it one more time, you know, I didn't stop collecting horror stuff. I didn't stop watching those kind of movies, whatever. I'm still going to do all that kind of stuff. But now, yeah, I can branch out, do more. Like I said, it, it's, it's cool, but it's also, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like more freeing, but it's also a little bit more, uh, stressful in a sense that like i said now i have too many options so uh i'm just gonna start kinda, counting out videos it, it almost feels like now that you made the announcement that you're you're gonna do it 
it, I don't want to say it's hard to leave horror, but it's like it's like I don't want to do it. <laughs> we have, well, it's almost like I don't want to say you, you've changed your mind because that's not the case. But it's like I got all this stuff that I still want to talk about with here, and I, if that makes any sense, it's almost like you announced it and you want to do it, and it's in the plans. But it's not like you you're just gonna change. There's a yeah. lot of horror stuff to come that you have planned. It's like I don't even know what I'm gonna do next on that because I have so much of this. Yeah, I have exactly. boxes coming that which is horror. And I think that's cool, man. I, I, I'm i looking, like I said, you're one of those guys who's more interesting than just the content. You're just an entertaining uh, presence I, I when you do. I that, man. Yeah, well, I enjoy said, it. I, I, I'm kind of an introverted guy. My, <laughs> oh, are you okay? Well, what happened over there? <laughs> well, it's one of those elevating things, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, good. I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, like I said, I'm kind of introverted, though. So uh, same as you, you know, I don't, uh, I don't really do that well sometimes with uh with with all the public speaking and whatnot but uh yeah it's a, you know it's something that you you pick up oh funny money is a great movie i've seen funny that money? yeah with chevy chase oh yeah that's an old one right yeah it's old it's one of his yeah you know one of the funniest movies i've seen and i still love it this by steve martin was the jerk the jerk yeah that's a good one. i love that movie man i, I watched it again recently like I'm with you. Like, there's a lot of times I want to watch horror, but I mean, I'll turn on a comedy all the time. I mean, old sitcoms yeah. just to watch it. Like, yeah, uh, I seeing old that. All in the Family. I love that show. Absolutely mm -hmm. love that show. Even old Married with Children. There's just certain things that you know. I'm I'm like you. There's a lot of the other things I like, uh, but I've just started, you know, talking about the horror, and it's it's one thing that. I, like for me, that's probably what I'll stick with, but I don't have a problem with like somebody like you and listening and watching and getting the the entertainment. Cause I've seen people who who have stuck to one genre. Like I know a lot of people who've done Walking Dead and stuff when it was hot and they built a lot of audience with it. And now that it kind of not what it was, and the whole audience that's all they expect is the Walking Dead. It's so hard to to break off from that. Exactly. And I think you're yeah. doing it at the right time. Where you're like, not that I'm giving up on horror, but the best way for you to keep growing, and especially the type of personality you are and host you are, I think it's a good move for you. Honestly, like I was kind of shocked at first when I saw the the title. I'm like, the end of Derek's horror <laughs> stuff. I go, I know he didn't like the convention. But he's not folding yeah. up the channel, is he now? Right. Like that, I would have been disappointed. Not disappointed. I would have been like, damn, that's too bad yeah, yeah, because yeah. I enjoy your content, you know. But understanding, and I think you explained it well, what you're really trying to do. And, and yeah, I, I think to, it's the uh, best thing for your channel. I had I had to make it a little bit clickbaity so that people would actually come and click on it and then not be as surprised when I changed the name of my uh my channel. So um so, yeah, so like I said, I mean, you know, I'm still going to do that's kind of the thing is it's not going to change that drastically because I'm still going to do the things I'm doing now. I'm just going to yeah. do more of a variety. You look at your studio. I don't think you're going to take it out and put the three amigos life size characters. Exactly. Or something. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, it just opens up the genre and it opens up the conversation table where people don't get upset if you do start doing entertainment. And I think, I mean, I'm guessing it was kind of like a situation you were having with uh, Facebook because of the shorts you were putting on and they don't like certain things where you were kind of like, you know, I enjoy doing this. I, you know, even though they're giving me a hard time and, you know, people are interested in kind of that kind of stuff too. And it, it brings up more audience to it. And that was kind of the thing. It's like, you know, I, I could, uh, you know, it's like you can, you can grow in just one niche and that's fine. And you could be, cause you know how it is in, in a horror yeah. niche is like a niche of a niche of a niche. So like it's a very small, section and that's fine uh but i just wanted to branch out a little bit more so that i could do a couple other things too and if that if those videos don't take off it is what it is but at least i'm having fun doing it you know yeah yeah you can't be do i mean there's and i can understand it too because nothing and i love horror obviously i'm a horror yeah. freak just like you like everybody else um but i've even noticed um the other derek h uh halloween theme pdx is uh you know, he's doing a lot more different unboxing type deals. And he's a huge Halloween fan, you know, yeah. at that time of year. But he's opening up his stuff. I think he's done some Star Wars stuff. I 
a few different unboxings. I'm so far behind on a lot of people's channels. Yes, me now. too, so man. I hear you. Halloween Fiend PDX, man, if I haven't been there as much as I used to. Because I love to follow everybody. I enjoy everybody's content. Like you said, you get so busy. I've oh, had yeah. so much going on between work and 24-7. I mean, I'm working every day 24-7 and then trying to get ready for events. Uh, yeah. You know, a lot of stuff behind the scenes business that I'm trying to work on. And then, you know, doing the live streams lately. It's just, not, I don't even know how I have time to eat and sleep and, yep. and shower, man. It's, it's I, not I'm, busy. Right now. I am with you, man. Like I, uh, you know, like I said, I, I put out this video about changing the name and everything. And I think I did that about two weeks ago. And since then I haven't uploaded a video and it's weird because for the last two years, I've been trying to upload at least one to two videos a week. Um, and this is the first video that, uh, you know, I've, I've been in since, uh, since that video came out. So yeah, I, I hear you. It's tr it's tricky. I keep trying to put time away to like make these videos and edit them and whatever, but uh, the time Time's gets just never on your side, man. Yep, yep. Yes, the Reverend Daniel Cruz. <laughs> I was just looking at some of the chat too. Um, Caesar uh, looks amazing. Great job. I'm not sure which, but probably saw hey, nothing here unless he's talking about the curtain behind me. But probably what you got is they're saying looks amazing or something that um. Daniel Cruz did. He he does some really amazing stuff too. He does uh, he does Hawks. He does a lot of Michael Myers masks. He's been doing a lot. Oh, he's got the new mold coming out. I wonder if he's talking about that. He's got a is it a flashback or a seventy eight? I forget what it is that it's at because it's still in the mold process. But he's got some skills molding. So I love to give the people in the in the uh, chat a lot of love and shout outs because I'm Absolutely. lucky enough to know a lot of these amazing people dude and, and uh, i'm not going to tie you up too long it's been an hour i appreciate you coming on dude have a great time on your cruise and best of luck with some of the new content that you're planning on doing i know it's it's a lot it's hard to put out new content with being so busy as you are but yeah you know, but hey man i, I appreciate door. it yeah you've yeah, opened I the door yeah. yep yep I, well, uh, thank you. you just gotta you just gotta put something out there you know Hey man, you're doing a great job. I like I said, I, I'm a big supporter, and uh, I'm I'm actually still a Patreon because I, I I appreciate what yeah. you do. Yep, you and know? I appreciate that. Oh no, dude! I keep up the great work, man. Keep doing what you're doing, and like I said, have a great time on your your trip. And uh, we'll have to can do one where I don't feel so bare behind me. Where I'm <laughs> on a weekend where I got a. Uh, my stuff, and we could be uh, oh, that's cool over there. But at least it's not just a cool <laughs> curtain. Hey, nice right. bed sheet. Nice, yeah. nice comforter. <laughs> That's sweet. Is that green and brown? Yeah. It's more of a turquoise. <laughs> but um, thank you, everybody, in the chat. Uh, I appreciate all the support. Probably won't be any streams this weekend. There won't be any interviews like this this weekend. If I happen to get on it, I'll be get on, but it's going to be hard to schedule because I'm going to be packing to hit the road on Wednesday. I got this weekend to get everything packed up. So. Ugh. I'll be happy when I get to Florida. Hey man, I hope you have a, a safe trip to Florida. I hope you uh, make a lot of money uh, with your sales. Yeah. Well, yeah, if I can let things go, maybe. But, yeah. Right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And and like I said, have a great time on your trip and thank you everybody from the chat being here. Um, thank you guys. Caesar, to Madman, I'm going to call him Madman. Uh, Daniel Cruz, Chris Cowley, Supine. Uh, uh, let's see who else was here. Shangy, Camp Crystal Cabin Six. All you guys have been here. I don't mean to not. Michael Toth, everybody, everybody. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will talk to you all soon. Check out Derek's channel. It's in the link. Derek Ricard now, formerly Derek's Horror Stuff, and he does great content. And you can see his whole room without my head being in the way. <laughs> watch his streams uh take care everybody and we'll see you next time see you guys thank you